Hi everyone, so today we're going to be unboxing a brand new Vitus M4.45 42 horsepower 4 cylinder marine diesel engine just to show you around the engine, make you aware of some of the features of this particular model and give you a better understanding of it So one of the first things that becomes very obvious on these engines is this black heat shield on top of the engine. This is liquid cooled. There's two benefits of this. It keeps the ambient engine bay temperature much cooler than it would otherwise be. This giant aluminium plate acts as a heat sink, but also it deadens noise coming out of the engine. It can reduce it by up to 10 decibels. This particular M445 is heat exchanger cooled, but we do have keel cooled ones as well as an option. So what I'll do now is get this carton lifted off and give you a better look round it. Okay, so now we've got the, the shipping box out of the way, we can get a bit closer to some of the engine components and show you around it. So the, the M445 is a, based on a 1.7 litre Mitsubishi. It's a fully mechanical engine, mechanical injection, no electronics, no ECU. So moving around the engine, you've got your electric fuel pump, fuel in fitting is here, and your fuel return fitting is the one mounted to this yellow bracket here. Fuel filter with a water separator drain screw on the bottom of it. Then we've got the exhaust mixer elbow, one of my favourite features of the M-Line engines. These elbows are cast in bronze, unlike other manufacturers who use cast iron or pot metal, aluminium. These really are a lifetime exhaust elbow and they've got an amazing feature, an exhaust gas temperature alarm which monitors heat of the exhaust. If you lose your water flow, this alarm will go off. It's integrated with the dash panel you know straight away that you've either got a cooling water blockage or an impeller failure before you end up doing damage to the engine and overheating it. There's no other manufacturer, as far as I'm aware, that fits them as standard on a small engine. Um, but it is unique to Vetus and it is standard on all of the M-Line models. Move this bag out of the way. This contains the owner's handbooks and extension harnesses for the control panel so this particular engine has got a tmc60 techno drive two to one mechanical gearbox there are a lot of gearbox options for these engines this is the standard fitment but there are options for zf mechanical gearboxes zf hydraulic techno drive hydraulic both straight and down angle and there is also the option for a down angle mechanical box. This particular one is a straight gearbox. And in this box here we've got the set of flexible engine mounts for installation. And then here we've got the control panel. So moving around to this side of the engine we've got heat exchanger manifold assembly here, forward end cap and rear end cap here. Now the water both enters and exits from the same end so should you ever get a blockage in the heat exchanger you can undo this out this allen cap head screw here there's an o-ring behind this cover this cover comes off and you can then gain access to the complete tube assembly for, for good to keep take those out and clean them periodically good routine maintenance a lot of people sadly don't but any heat exchanger cooled engine does need its tube stack cleaning periodically so then here we've got the starter motor, so everything is pre-wired back to this, literally ready to connect your your main positive from your, your starter batteries to there. And then we would normally recommend connecting the earth cable to this bolt here, which as you see, the surface of the block behind it's been left bare metal to get a good contact. The four little shipping legs here you discard once you've got the engine lifted and put its flexible mounts on its four and a half brackets. 
alternator sitting there. It's a 110 amp alternator on these as standard, good high powered unit. Moving around to the front, we've got the salt water pump there, nice and accessible. Belt guard, this can easily be taken off if needed. Three finger nuts, so you can undo it without the need for any tools to gain access to the drive belt. Fuel injection pump here. In the normal course of events, this is a self-bleeding system, but should you ever get air trapped in the injection pump, there is a bleed screw just here. You've got two oil fill locations on these engines, one located just here, and another one here on the rocker cover. So depending on how the access is in your boat, you've got a choice of two locations to fill the oil. Coolant is in the, in the cap here. There is the option for a remote expansion tank if that's not accessible, or indeed if you fit a hot water system, these can be supplied with a calorifier takeoff. It's a set of blank plugs in there that you remove to put hose tails in. They come as a kit so that you can then connect to a calorifier. And you then fit a remote expansion tank just to allow for that extra expansion and contraction of the coolant. You've got the dipstick here. Oil filter. Oil extraction pump, standard fitment on all the M-Line models from the M218 upwards. And there's an air filter assembly here which has a replaceable paper element inside it. Now you get a, get a five year warranty on these engines for leisure applications, one year for commercial. And they really do offer outstanding value for money for, for what they are. You'd struggle to find something better. Um, if you'd like any further information, please don't hesitate to call us or visit our website www.marineenginesdirect.com And just before I sign off, I'll show you the, the two control panel options that you can have with these engines. So the standard instrument panel is the MPA22. That's what comes within the standard scope of supply. You have an option to upgrade to an MPA34, which gives you additional temperature gauge and oil pressure gauge. Now extension harnesses, the M445 comes with a four meter harness as standard, but there are the option to either shorten that down to two meters or extend it to six or any combination of those connected together. A nice all round package. Like I said, if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to get in touch with us. And thanks for viewing.